Thank you for joining us again on another one of our Pray TV programs. Very grateful Charlotte is here, and so just share with us a little bit of a welcome. Yes, we're just so thankful, as we often say, I know, but we truly are. There's just so much that God is doing throughout the world, and we just are very amazed, really, at what the Lord is doing in spite of all of the craziness that we're living mm -hmm. in as well. We just want to keep our eyes very focused on the Lord. And we certainly do want to focus on His Word, which is the anchor for our souls. It's the anchor for our being. We know that without the Word of God, we would be adrift. In fact, the Lord Himself said that He honors His Word above His name. And we know that His name was so honored, particularly among the Jewish people and the Israelites, that they couldn't even say the word Yahweh. They separated it into two syllables and they wouldn't say the same. They wouldn't even write it out together on the same piece of parchment or, or, or as we would consider a page of paper at this day and time because they held it in such regard. But God says that his word is honored above his name. And so we're going to take and we're anchoring our lives and we encourage you to do the same. And we look at a portion of scripture here today from Proverbs chapter 11. And we're looking at verses 4, 24 and 25 and we're reading from the New International Version of the Bible. And it says, one person gives freely yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. You know, this is a very important portion of Scripture because it really talks about the principle. The principle of sowing and the reaping. The principle of having an attitude of generosity. Generosity it's, it's not about doing math. It's about understanding principles. And I know that there are people that are fearful even of people talking about this principle because people have been manipulated by the use of these very precious words and principles. We are not doing that. We're not asking anybody. We've never asked anybody to give anything to our, our work and our ministry even here over these last many years. We've been doing this program now over three, three years and, and, and we haven't asked once and I'm not asking even now. What we want to see is a deep understanding of the principle here. The principle that God works with. He is so generous in how he deals with us. God saw mankind in our fallen state, in our broken condition. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. We, we know this. For some of us who have heard this so many times, it sounds a little redundant, but for the, there are many of you that are watching from around the world that you may not understand or have been taught or, or, or really understood these principles well. But God loves, and he gives out of that love. As we become more and more like him, we become more capable of giving. Whether we're giving our little bit, the Bible talks about, Jesus spoke about, addressed about the woman who gave the two mites, which was the smallest amount of currency possible in that day and time. And that how he honored her giving of the, that little bit because it was given from a heart. It was given from a, a, a desire to bless the kingdom of God and to bless others. And, and it's, that's what God looks at. He looks at the condition of the heart. He wants us to enter into this sense of blessing, this sense of his his empowerment to take what little we have and expand it. You know, 
there's just so much I could talk about and I'm not going to do it because time gets away on us, but I'm going to just reread this and I'm going to ask Charlotte to begin our prayer time after this, in particular concerning the spirit of abundance that comes into our hearts when we recognize how much he has given us. Again, reading Proverbs chapter 11, verses 24 and 25, the New International Version of the Bible. One person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be themselves refreshed. Charlotte, would you just begin our prayer time, dear? Thank you. Lord, we want to thank you, first of all, today for your great generosity. Yes. You are the greatest of givers, Lord, and you have given us the gift of salvation, the gift of sins forgiven, the gift, Lord, of just your presence, Lord, and we could go on and on with countless gifts, Lord, that you have just lavishly given to us. And Lord, we know, God, that as your spirit resides in us, Lord, we want to model what you have done for us. Yes. We can never match what you've done, Lord, but we want to give out of what you have given us. Lord, we're reminded of that little boy with the five loaves and the two small fish <laughs> that was just willing to put it into your hands, Lord, and you took it and you blessed and you fed a multitude, Lord. Father, we just pray, God, that we would not allow, God, our fears, our anxieties, or any other thing, God, to hold us back, Father, from really being willing to give generously to others and into your kingdom, Lord. We are so thankful, God, and you will take it, God, and you will multiply it in ways that we cannot even imagine. We have personally seen you do this over and over again, yes, Father, throughout our lives. And so we just pray, God, everything we have belongs to you. And we just thank you, God, that we can just enter into this generosity of spirit, Lord, and we can see, Lord, yes. you do the work of multiplying everything, God, as we are willing to bless you and bless others. And Father, we just join, I join Charlotte in praying with you, our friends. Holy Spirit, we thank you that you are giving to us an ability to look at even our lack truly as you look at it. It's the potential for you to step in and supply. Father, help us not to be obsessed with what we don't have. Help us to be really looking to you, keeping our eyes and our affections upon you because you are the one that fills every void. Lord, you literally hold all things together. There is no empty spaces in you. There is no lack in you. And Father, we just pray right now into the areas that our brother or our sister are feeling impacted with right now that you would just step in mm -hmm. and give that deep sense of confidence that, Lord, you are going to meet every need out of your abundant riches. You have no lack. You are God. And Father, I pray that we will be able to enter into that and we will be able to receive it into our spirit, that we will be able to just really live out these principles that you are teaching us here in this wonderful book of Proverbs. Bless your people today. Be with each and every one of us mm -hmm. as we continue to pray. May we be strengthened to do your will, to do your work, 
and to bring praise and glory to your name. Amen.